This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to calculate market share. This is going to be using table calculations and level of detail calculations. It's based on the market share used for last week's Workout Wednesday. So, this is what we're going to produce today. So, this first section here is the market share across all individual subcategories and categories. So it gives you a percentage per subcategory. The next section, and that's using a table calculation, the next one is going to be using relative market share, which is per category. So how much is the total bookcases sales in comparison to the total furniture sales? So that gives us a relative market share. We're then going to calculate the, the same overall market share but using a level of detail calculation and then relative market share again using a level of detail calculation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build out our view. So we're going to go category and subcategory and then we're going to have sales in our view. Now I'm just going to change this to our table calculation. In fact, first I'm going to put on our totals. So we're going to have row totals and then we're also going to add in our subtotals so we can see what is happening. So if I hit the little drop down here and go to quick table calculation and do percent of total. Now this gives us our market share of that particular subcategory across all of our subcategories. And if I put sales back in the view here, you can then see what our sales were compared to the overall total, which is down here. So it's 2 million, so it's 1,000 and 114,000 is a share of 2 million, which works out to be 5%. Now I'm just going to save this one and call this total market share. Okay, so then we can look into the hood of this one and we edit. And it's literally the sum of sales divided by the total sum of sales based on table down, which is looking across the whole table going down. You could also compute this using a um, subcategory and that would also work. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the next sum of sales and again we're going to change it to percent of total. So this is going to give us the same figures back. But this time what we want to do is we want to give this 114,000 a percent of total of our 742,000 so it's relative to the category that it is in so we hit the little drop down and we, what we want to do this time is we want to compute using pain down so each one of these is a pain so it's only going to look across that pain and you can see that it's looking across the pain because each of the sub category the the subtotals for each category adds up to 100%. So you can see that bookcases is 15% of the furniture sales. So that's how we do table. Um, that's how we do market share with table calculations. Now for our LOD calculations, we need to create some calculations to start off with. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the total across all of these subcategories. So we're going to create a total and we're going to go total sum of sales. And we're going to use an LOD and it's literally just going to be the sum of sales. Wrapped in curlies, so that means it's fixed across all dimensions in our view. So if we add that into our view, you'll see that we get the same figure that you get across the bottom here. So it's 2,297,201. So the way that we do our market share is we get the sum of sales and divide it by the minimum of the total sum of sales. The reason why we wrap it in a minimum is because we don't want to sum it up because it will then end up summed across the whole of the subcategories. Hit OK. If we drag that in, it's going to say zero, but that's because we need to change the default properties to a percentage. 
So you can see now we get the 5% and we got the 5% with the table calculation as well as with the LOD. Now the next LOD we need to create is to bring back each of the different category subtotals. So across all of these four records we should get 742,000. Now I'm going to create a new calculator field, category total sales, and this time we're going to fix this at the category level for the sum of sales. And hit OK. Now when we drag this on, it's going to give you each of the individual category um, subtotal sales. So that, that figure there is the same as that figure. So now what we need to do is we need to divide the sum of sales divided by the category total sales. So let's create a new category field and let's call this relative market share LOD. So again, it's just the sum of sales divided by the minimum of the category total sales inside the brackets. Hit OK. And again, let's just make sure that our default properties on this are percentage, one decimal place. And then when we drag that in, you can then see it's 15.5%, which is the same as our table, cat table calculation. It just depends on how you want to use things. So if you want a lot of filters, then maybe um, table calculations are better. But if you want it fixed, regardless of your filters, then I would probably go with level of detail calculations. That's all for this week.